Ever wondered what your Wi-Fi router is doing when you tap connect? In this video, we'll open up a TP-Link style router, look at every component inside, from the antennas and radio chips to the power circuits, and follow your data from your phone all the way to the internet. Let's go inside the Wi-Fi brain of your home. A home Wi-Fi router is actually three devices in one. Router decides where data packets should go between your home network and the internet. Switch connects your wired devices together over the LAN ports. Access point, AP, creates the wireless network using antennas and radio chips. If your ISP gives you fiber or a cable slash DSL modem, your router connects to that modem using the WAN port. Let's tour the outside first. Antennas. These can be external dipoles or internal PCB antennas. More antennas usually mean more spatial streams for MIMO, better speed and reliability. WAN port, often blue, connects to your modem ONT. LAN ports, often yellow, for PCs, TVs, game consoles, or access points. USB, if present, for printer sharing or storage. WPS reset button, short press triggers. UPS, long press, eight to 10 seconds, resets to factory settings. Power jack, DC input from the adapter, commonly 9V or 12V. Ethernet, RJ45, cat 5 e slash cat 6. Twisted pair cable for LAN, W1. Modern devices auto sense, so straight patch cables are fine. CAT 5E supports 1 GBPS. CAT 66A can handle higher bandwidth, longer runs. Fiber. If you have fiber internet and ONT converts light to ethernet, you still use RJ45 between ONT and router. Power cable. DC barrel from the AC adapter. Match voltage and polarity. Inside a TP-Link style router, you'll find these main parts. CPU. SOC, the brain of the router, runs firmware, NAT, firewall. Wi-Fi radios, handle 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless signals. RF module, amplifiers and filters that boost and clean signals. Antennas, send and receive Wi-Fi signals. Ethernet switch and ports, for LAN and WAN wired connections. Memory. Flash stores firmware, RAM handles active data, power circuit, regulates voltage from the adapter, LEDs and buttons, status indicators, reset, and WPS button. Your phone sends data as Wi-Fi signals, the router's antenna catches it, boosts it, and the Wi-Fi chip turns it into digital data. The CPU then checks it, applies firewall and an at, and if it's for the internet, sends it out through the WAN port to your modem. The reply comes back the same way. WAN, CPU, Wi-Fi chip, antenna, and finally reaches your phone. Security, WPA2, WPA3, and what WPS really does. WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup, push button method, press WPS on the router and the device to exchange keys automatically for a short window typically two minutes. Pin method, enter an eight digit pin. Important, WPS can be a security weak spot on some devices. Use push button briefly to add a device, then consider disabling WPS if you don't need it. Reboot, restart, power cycle, or use the UI to restart. Your settings stay the same. Reset to factory defaults, hold the reset, or combo WPS reset button for 8 to 10 seconds until LEDs blink. This erases custom settings and restores factory defaults. Use this if you forget the admin password or after a bad configuration. If you like this 3D animated explanation and learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Blue Butterfly for more awesome tech breakdowns. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.